Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, you are expected to visualize decimal numbers using models like blocks, grids, number lines, and money to show the relationship to fractions. You are also expected to rename decimal numbers to fractions whose denominators are factors of 10 and 100 to decimal numbers. So let's first define a decimal number. So a decimal number has a dot after the one's digit. So ito yung may, pag may nakikita tayong uh, period or point doon pagkatapos ng one's digit. And these digits after the ones denoted tens, hundreds, and so on. So, magsisimula ang place value ng decimal number after ng decimal point. So, mag-start tayo sa tens, then followed by hundreds, and thousands, and so on. Then, decimal number can be changed or renamed into fraction form and vice versa. So, pwede nating i-change ang decimal number into fractions at yung fractions naman pwede nating i-change to decimal number as long as yung ating denominator ay factors ng 10, 100, or 1,000. Let's take a look at the blocks and cubes model below. Observe how the 10 cubes represent the decimal numbers and fractions. So as you can see, meron tayong 10 cubes and and these 10 cubes represent the whole, yung kabuuan ng mga bilang ng mga cubes. And 6 out of 10 cubes are shaded cubes. So kung napapansin nyo, may anim na nakashaded cubes. So if we're going to change that into fraction or get the fraction form, so 6 over 10, kasi yung 6 yung ating magiging numerator, yung shaded part, and yung 10 yung kabuang uh, parts. Kapag change natin to sa decimal number, siya ay magiging 6 tenths. This can be written as 6 over 10 in fraction form or 6 tenths in decimal form. The denominator has 1, 0. Yun yung 10, di ba? So, yung 0 doon sa ating denominator, ito yung magsasabi sa atin na ang ating decimal number should only be 1 digit after the decimal point. Kaya siya naging 6 tenths. Okay, so let's have another example. So, using grid naman. So, kung napapansin nyo, itong ating illustration shows 100 cubes which represent the whole. And, meron tayong mga nakashaded cubes. Ilan ang ating mga nakashaded cubes? So, meron tayong 12 out of 100 cubes are shaded cubes. Therefore, Kung ating isusulat ang fractional form nitong ating illustration, uh, this would be 12 over 100. Kung saan, ang 12, ito yung ating numerator, yung shaded part. Then yung 100, ito yung total number of parts. Kung i-change naman natin ang 12 over 100 into decimal form, pansinin nyo kung ilan ng 0 ng ating denominator. So, Dalawa ang zero ng ating denominator. Therefore, dapat dalawang digit ang ating magiging decimal places after the decimal point. So, napansin nyo, naging 12 hundreds na siya. Bilangin nyo yung digits doon sa ating decimal number sa dalawa. Okay, so we have two decimal places. So, this can be written as 12 over 100 in fraction form or 12 hundredths in decimal form. The denominator has two zeros which, tell, which tells us that there is two digit after the decimal point in the decimal number. So, ang, ang ating guide lang dito ay yung ating denominator. So, kung napapansin nyo, kung ang ating denominator ay may isang zero lang, isang digit lang ang ating decimal number after the decimal point. 
Pero dito, dalawa ang ating decim uh, denom dalawa ang zero ng ating denominator. Kaya dapat, dalawang digit yung ating decimal number after the decimal point. So, another way of visualizing a decimal number is through number line. So, there are 10 posts which represent a whole and out of 10 posts, there are 3 painted posts. So, we have 10 posts and we have 3 painted posts. So, if we're going to write the decimal fraction form of this number 9, so we will have 3 over 10. And yung 3 over 10, pansin ninyo, yung denominator is easy lang. Ibig sabihin, ang ating decimal place or decimal number should only contain one digit. So, ang ating magiging sagot ay 3 tenths. Okay, so look at 25 centavo coin. This can be written as 25 hundreds in decimal form or 25 over 100 in fraction form. Bakit natin in over sa 100? Kasi ilang digits ang decimal places dito sa ating decimal form. So meron tayong dalawang digits. Therefore, ano bang uh, powers of 10 ang may dalawang digit? Diba 100? Kaya in-over natin siya sa 100. Kaya ang fraction form ng 25 hundreds is 25 over 100. Okay, so let's study the two tables. So meron tayong dito mga 1 decimal place na 5 tenths, which is when we write 5 tenths into fraction, it is 5 over 10. And yung 5 over 10 can also be expressed into lowest term and that is equal to 1 half. So, magkakato, magkakapareho lang ang value ng 5 tenths in decimal form, 5 over 10 in fraction form, and 1 half in lowest term. Next, itong 4 tenths. So, ang ating fraction form is 4 over 10 and yung 4 over 10 ay may lowest term pa, siya ay 2 over 5. Fraction form din siya, but in lowest term. Next is 8 tenths. Ang 8 tenths ay 8 over 10. Isa lang kasi ang kanyang digits sa ating decimal place. Then, 4 over 5 ang katumbas niya in fraction in lowest term. So, yung 8 over 10, kapag ni lowest term pa natin, magiging 4 over 5. Next is 9 tenths. So, yung 9 tenths is written as 9 over 10 in fraction form. And wala na siyang lowest term kasi relatively prime na ang 9 and 10. So, wala nang number na magdi-divide pa sa 9 and 10 except sa 1. Okay, so proceed naman tayo sa 2 decimal places. Okay, 2 decimal places, dapat ang ating denominator is 100. So, 25 hundredths. Pansin nyo, dalawa yung kanyang digit after the decimal point. Kaya yung 25 over 100, 100 ang kanyang denominator. Then, express, nat express natin ang 25 over 100 sa lowest term, that is 1 fourth. Next, is 15 hundredths. So, 2 decimal places, kaya ang denominator niya ay 100. 15 over 100, and express your answer or the fraction into a uh, lowest term that is equal to 3 over 20. Next is 5 hundredths. So, yung 5 hundredths, dalawang decimal places. So, dapat ang ating denominator is 100. So, 5 over 100 and express natin sa lowest term that is 1 over 20. Then, 13 hundredths. So, we have two decimal places, therefore, ang kanyang denominator is 100. So, the fractional form of 13 hundredths is 13 over 100, and wala na siyang lowest term. Okay, so, tatandaan nyo lang na kapag 1 ang decimal place, ang ating denominator is 10. Kapag two decimal places naman, ang ating denominator is 100. So, let's have an activity show 
show the eight tenths using read number line and cubes. So, ipapakita natin itong decimal number na eight tenths gamit ang read number line and cubes. So, start muna tayo sa read. Okay, so para lang siyang fraction. So, kung eight tenths, therefore, ang total number ng parts should be ten. Kaya, eight ang shaded part and may dalawang hindi tayo shinade. So, 8 plus 2 is 10. Kaya, 8 over 10. Okay. So, using a number line. So, gagamit tayo ng number line. Ang isha-shade natin is 8 posts out of 10 posts. So, magagawa tayo ng 10 uh, posts kasi 8 tenths. Ibig sabihin, 10 yung ating total number of parts. So, 8 yung shaded post and... 10 yung total number of parts. And the last is show 8 tenths using cubes. Okay, so meron tayong 8 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 and hindi natin ishade yung pang 9 at pang 10 na cubes kasi 8 lang dapat ang shaded cubes out of 10 total number of cubes. So, this is how we visualize 8 tenths using read, number line, and cubes. Okay, so let's try this activity. Rename the following decimal form into fraction forms. Okay, so we have 75 hundredths. So, ang decimal na to is ay merong 2 decimal places. So, kapag 2 decimal places, ang ating denominator will be 100. So, if we change 75 hundredths into fraction form, that will be 75 over 100. And dapat, i-express din natin itong 75 over 100 sa lowest term. So, ang GCF ng 75 and 100 is 25. So, i-divide natin ang numerator and denominator sa GCF na 25 to get the lowest form of 75 over 100. 75 divided by 25 is 3 and 100 divided by 25 is 4. Therefore, 3 fourth. Itong 75 hundredths, 75 over 100 and 3 over 4 ay pare-pareho lang ang kanilang value. Okay, another example is 16 hundredths. Again, dalawa ang decimal places, therefore, ang ating denominator is 100. So, this is written as 16 over 100. And don't forget na i-express natin itong 16 over 100 into lowest term by dividing the numbers to the, to the, uh, the numerator and the denominator by the GCF na 4. So, we divide 16 divided by 4 and 100 divided by 4 that is equal to 4 over 25 okay so how about renaming fraction form into decimal form so ito naman ang ating i-rename -re ay yung fraction form so we have 5 over 100 so dapat ang ating decimal number form or decimal form should be two decimal places kaya Para yung 5 ay maging 2 decimal places, maglalagay tayo ng 0 as the placeholder for tenths. Kaya magiging 5 hundredths. So, dalawang places na siya. 1, 2. Okay, so another example is 8 over 10. Ibig sabihin, since 10 ang kanyang denominator, 1 decimal place lang dapat ang ating decimal form. So, yung 8 over 10, when we change to decimal form, is 8 tenths. So, isa lang ang ating decimal place. Okay, so how about if we encounter this kind of fraction? So, meron tayong 3 over 4. Ay, ma'am, hindi naman 100 or 10 ang kanyang denominator. So, kapag naka-encounter ka ng gantong fraction, kailangan mong mag-isip ng number na pwede nating i-multiply sa ating denominator na para siya ay maging 100. Hindi naman pwede to sa 10 kasi 4. Wala, wala namang uh, number na pwedeng i-multiply sa 4 para ang sagot ay 10. So, punta tayo sa 100. So, anong, anong number ang pwede nating i-multiply sa 4 para maging 100? Okay. 
So, we can multiply 4 by 25 para ang sagot natin dyan is 100. Tandaan na kapag ikaw ay nag-multiply sa denominator ng 25, ikaw din ay mag-multiply sa ating numerator ng 25. So, gagawin mo yung ginawa mo sa denominator doon sa, sa ating numerator. Okay, so 3 times 25, that is 75. And 4 times 25 is 100. O, oh, madali na siyang i-convert or i-change into decimal number kasi ang ating denominator na is 100 or powers of 10 na. So, pag change natin niya, dapat dalawa ang decimal places kasi dala dalawa ang 0 or ang ating denominator is 100. Therefore, when we change 3 fourth into decimal form, that is 75 hundredths. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.